I teach in the Cognitive Science program. We were actually one of the first places in the country to have one, so we're really proud at Occidental. And it's a really cool major because it's the intersection of psychology, neuroscience, philosophy, computation, linguistics, that all comes together and we all have similar questions about the mind. I study how the different senses work together. So for instance, some of my research looks at how visual cues influence your perception of taste. I've had students put food coloring in Rice Krispie Treats and make the flavor match or not match the coloring and then blindfold people and have them eat them and see if they taste different when they're blindfolded or not. Some really fun studies like that. So my work really revolves around anything where you mix up the senses and you see what kind of crazy result comes out. About 20% of Aussie students end up taking a COG sci course during their time here, either because they're excited about it or because they have a science requirement and they think, hey, that sounds fun and we really try to actually make it be fun. So we really enjoy that we get students from all kinds of disciplines who take our introductory courses. This year, one of the classes I'm teaching both semesters, I'm co-teaching Introduction to Cognitive Science, Cog Sci 101. So this is a big class. It's going to have four professors. We all teach it together. So there's me. I'm kind of on the mixture of psychology and computation. We have a philosopher in there. We have a neuroscientist in there. And we have a professor who a renaissance man, I'll just call him, <laughs> a combination of music and artificial intelligence. So together, we create this class that looks at things like memory, language, reasoning, and that's just a really great experience because that's a core requirement for students in all kinds of departments. You don't even have to know what your major is in yet. So one great thing I've really loved about working here is getting to work with students on their research projects. We have all these funding sources available to students so they can write a small grant from the college and get $200 for supplies, run an experiment during the school year, and then during the summer we have a special summer research program where they can apply to get a stipend to live on campus, they get discounted room and board, and they can have a 10-week project where they basically design an experiment from start to finish, see how it goes, and I really liked working with students who are super excited to get to try, put their own ideas into practice. We're really committed to getting the students into the lab, into the field, talking to faculty members so that they can really see what it's like to do the work as opposed to just passively take it in. Over my time here, I've taught a lot of students, so I'll see students around campus in the marketplace, in the gym, on the quad, and I really have gotten to know so many students in a range of disciplines, and it's really interesting to see how sometimes they'll connect that to their own major. And what I love about Oxy students in particular is that you guys want to be here. <laughs> People come to Oxy because they want small classes, they want to participate in those classes, they want to talk to their peers, they want to talk to their professors. So it's really enjoyable to work with students who enjoy coming to class. I find the engagement that the Oxy students bring is probably the most rewarding part about teaching here.